Well, I had um, so much fun painting up this little panther, this 176 FX Classics, that I uh, thought I'd uh, throw about a few diorama ideas or build a little diorama for it, which was triggered partially by um, a few things that I managed to get off uh, Evil Bay. These are um, old matchbox dioramas that used to come with the kits. Well, they still do come with the kits in the the <coughs> revolt. Uh, excuse me, the rebox revel versions. But anyway, I managed to get three of these off uh, Evil Bay, and they're originally originally from 1980. So they're original matchbox mini dioramas, which came with their 176 scale kits, and they really are excellent. Um, so that's the basic diorama. You just basically the, it come it came in two parts. You glue that pavement section on there next to the uh, drain and the tram lines or the brickwork there on the road surface on the tram line surface so that, that's what you do basically do just glue that together <coughs> then the second stage well my second stage obviously as people have their own ways of painting them I put down a, a matte black base and then I've built it up in this is just to show you, so you can build it up in sections. Then I've added um, a darker grey on top of the pavement areas. And then it'll be lightened again, and then it'll have highlighting on it, etc. Tone down the tracks a little, these tram lines. I've just put those in in silver so you can actually see. Uh, and the same with the brickwork. So it needs quite a lot of work on it. But just, just to give you an example of uh, the stages of painting, as you can see there on this uh, ruin. And all this broken masonry. So uh, these are fun little things, and they're really effective. <clears throat> it's great that they um, gave you those with the kits. Fantastic idea. Here's one that's uh, almost finished. It's just having it more of a different effect on that. It still needs highlighting, but this is going to have well. It's a destroyed landscape or urban landscape, you know, obviously from World War Two. So I'm going to make it look more ashen. So you've got ashes everywhere, and it's pretty much whited out from uh, all the warfare. But they're great little bases. Um, as you can see, you can just adopt them to. I mean, this is an airfix tag, but you can just adopt it to anything really trucks as well any vehicle so that's one that's one thing where that we're working on at the moment you can see uh, it needs more work but I've lightened the uh, added washes onto the, uh, the paving stones there and still needs a little bit more work I mean you, you can basically work these up as much as you want you know you don't have to spend too long on them if you don't it just depends what result you want um, so that's those little three there. I think I picked those up for about a couple of pounds. That was a lucky little find. Um, next thing is the little diorama which we're making for the the Panther tank. Um, I'm basically copying more or less the um, the original box art. Well, it's going to have a similar background. That's just a sketch for it, so we can have. Uh, you know, or put a few palm trees in, a few explosions, and the tank coming down the uh, the slope. Because on the box, there's a there's a slope that the tank's coming down. Uh, it's a brief sketch of that. So it's going to be kept fairly fairly faithful to that box art, similar to that box art anyway. Um, what I've done, I've sloped, I've angled the card, so you're going to have the, you'll see your background image on there, your little backdrop. I've angled the card, uh, hopefully to just to add a little bit of dynamism, well at least that's the idea. <laughs> Same with this. And then obviously it's going to be built up with uh, with your core foam and things and just built up that way. Uh, the base for it is a cheap little uh, canvas which you can get from art shops if you're lucky, if you look around. Uh, they basically come like that. 
you can leave the canvas on and use that because it's fairly strong by the time you built up on it you can you know you can just build your little diorama onto that or you can actually just take the staples out and use the use a little mini stretcher because these small ones are very solid I took I took the canvas off this and then I've built up my own base from card but you can get hold of these pretty cheaply so and then we'll also maybe add I've got some textured there's some more textured packaging here which I've found it's almost like sand it's almost like a sand dune effect so I'm going to put some of this onto the uh, the panther tank Dio Dio and uh, hopefully get a nice little nice little effect from that one you know so again that's not you do not you don't buy this stuff in bottle shops you just find it in packaging so that's uh, the little project for the panther tank at the moment uh, hopefully I'll do some more in the future but uh, like I say these these um, these matchbox ones they're adaptable to all kinds of models so and you know you can really hone your hone your painting skills with these practicing washes because these tend to work better with a thinner wash build up the build up the layers like that rather than thick lumps you know thick layers of paint if you put if you put too much thick paint on these you're going to block you'll block out all those little, the little details you know like the gaps between the bricks you know you you paving stones etc you know you'll clog it basically and you don't want to clog it up you know we all know it's not real life but uh, you want to try and make it at least a little bit convincing so that's all for today's little video I think this is going to be part one uh, because there's quite a lot of work to do on this yet Although because it's a, such a small, you know, it's such a small do that um, it shouldn't take too long to do. And then I'll uh, do a little reveal with the model on it for part two. So thanks for listening and uh, see you hopefully in the next video. Bye for now.